To install the Sodium mod to Minecraft 1.19.4, it's actually very simple. So the first thing we need to do is to go to our web browser and you want to go to fabricmc.net and I'll leave a link in the description. Fabric is a modded tool which allows you to install Fabric mods to Minecraft such as Sodium. Now I've already made a video showing you how to install Fabric to Minecraft and I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. For those of you that know what they're doing, you want to click on the download here link and then you want to go ahead and download and install Fabric to your Minecraft. Okay, so now we've got Fabric downloaded and installed to our Minecraft, we just need to go ahead and do the same thing with the Sodium mod. So to do this, you want to go to your web browser or you want to go to the Sodium mod page on CurseForge. Now this is the new version of CurseForge, so if yours looks slightly different, the process is still very similar. So to download the Sodium mod, we just need to click on the Files tab, just at the very top. Then you want to go ahead and find the version of Sodium you want. So it should say 1.19.4, but in this case it says Client. We can confirm this is the right one because it says 119.4 when we click on the file. So once you're happy with it, you want to click on this drop down menu here and you want to select download file. And within a few seconds, your file should start to download. Once it's ready, you want to go ahead and install the mod to your computer. In this case, I'm going to use my desktop. I will also leave a link in the description to other performance mods that I recommend using alongside with Sodium. I just want to mention, if you're looking for a 24 hour Minecraft server, I recommend checking out Apex Hosting, where you can get 25% off with the link below. So now we've got Sodium downloaded to our computer, along with our other performance mods, we just need to go ahead and install them. So to do this, you want to right click on your Windows icon at the bottom, or you want to select Run, then you want to go ahead and type in percent update percent like this, and click on OK. Once your file explorer opens up, you just want to go ahead and click on the .minecraft file at the top, and then here is going to be all of your Minecraft files. So to install the mods, it's very simple. All we need to do is to go into our mods folder. And if you don't see this, you will need to create one. Once you're inside your mods folder, all you need to do now is drag and drop all of the mods you've just downloaded into the mods folder, just like this. As you can see, we've got Sodium in our mods folder, along with our other performance mods we downloaded earlier. And of course, we've also got the Fabric API, which is a must have. So now we've got our mods installed, let me show you how to use them. So to do this, you just want to open up your Minecraft launcher and then you want to click on the menu drop down release and select the fabric loader. Once you're ready, you want to click on play and it will go ahead and open up the fabric version of Minecraft. So once Minecraft opens, your mods will also be running. To activate the sodium options, you want to click on options and then you want to click on video settings and you'll notice your video settings has changed. So if you want to change your settings for the quality or the performance, I recommend changing all of your general tab settings and the quality tab settings. However, for the performance tab and the advanced tab, I recommend leaving these as they are unless you know what you're doing. Once you're ready, you want to click on done and you can go ahead and start playing Minecraft just as you normally would. And that's it. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.